With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is a 6 kg bomb at rest explodes into three equal pieces P, Q and R. If P flies with speed 30 meter per second, Q with speed 40 meter per second, making an angle 90 degree with the direction of P, the angle between the direction of motion of P and R is about. So we can say here initially the 6 kg bomb, this is our 6 kg bomb now exploding into three pieces P, Q and R. Now here we can say P flies with speed 30 meter per second and Q with speed 40 meter per second, 90 degree with the direction of P. So we can see here, suppose here this is our P. So here this Q makes an angle of 90 degree with P. So we can say this P flies with speed 30 meter per second. The Q particle will fly off with speed 40 meter per second making an angle 90 degree with direction of P as mentioned. Then the angle let's say between direction of motion of P and R is. So we can say here if let's say this particle Q is flying in plus Y direction, P particle is flying in let's say here plus X direction, then the total momentum Resultant momentum of P and Q will be in the first quadrant. Since initial momentum here is zero, therefore final momentum must be zero. So we can say here, the final momentum here must be along the line along which the net momentum of P and Q exists. So we can say here, the let's say this P and Q here exploding into three equal pieces. So mass of P here is let's say 2 kg. Mass of Q here is also 2 kg. Hence we can say here mass of this particle R will also be 2 kg. We just need to find the direction. So here the direction which let's say R mixed with the P. Hence this angle is required. So if we calculate this angle, so this is 90 and this angle is theta, as this angle will also be theta as vertically opposite angles. So here the total angle will be equal to 90 plus theta which will be our answer. Now we can see here the momentum of particle P will be along x axis with magnitude here as given here momentum of P is equal to let's say 2 into 30 as 60 as well as momentum of Q will be along the direction of velocity given here as 2 into 40 as 80. So the resultant momentum here we can say if we draw the triangle so if we draw here a triangle so we need to find this angle theta so for this angle theta we can say this here is equal to 80 next we have here the base let's say if we join this so base here is equal to we have here as 60 so we can say this tan theta here comes out to be our let's say 60 by 80 which is equal to 20 into 3, 20 into 4, hence theta comes as 37 degree. So this angle is 37 degree, this is 90 degree. So the total angle between P and R comes here as 90 plus 37 degree, which here is equal to 127 degree. So we can say here, this R particle flies off in this direction at an angle 127 degree, which here is option number 2, hence 2 is the correct answer, so 2 is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than 5 crore students, download Doubt and App today.